In today's episode, we'll do a baby boomer different from all the rest. It will be enhanced with transfer foils and new indigo effect powders. You'll see a few ways to do it and learn how to properly transfer foils and apply our special effects. Hi, my name is Connie, and this is a channel dedicated to the art of nail styling. Today, we will show you a very spring appropriate design. I promise it's going to get super colorful. Let's get started. For today's manicure, we'll be using gel polishes in Pudelec, Ice Dream, Melonholic, and Mr. White, nail effect, Princess Effect Barbarella, Don't Worry Bielsa, Bling Master, and Yes Bling, Top Coats, Tip Top, and Super Matte, and foils, Hotsy Totsy, True Blue, and Alibaba. We'll also need white nail art paste, sugar effect, mini ombre sponges, and an aquarelle sting brush. We cover the entire nail in Pudelec Gel Polish. We apply one layer without pushing the brush down too hard to decrease the amount of bristle marks. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. When applying the color, remember to avoid pushing the brush too hard against the surface of the nail. We work very gently, almost in the air, as if we weren't even touching the nail. Why? That's the best way to avoid bristle marks. Pushing the brush hard against the nail makes the pigment gather, resulting in ugly streaks. We prepare the Hotsy Totsy transfer foil. Using sharp scissors, we cut off a strip that's more or less the width of the nail. The foil is colorful on one side and silver on the other. We use the silver side to stick the foil to the dispersion layer of the colored gel. We push it down hard onto the surface of the nail, then using one quick decisive motion, we pull the piece back up again. When transferring a foil, we need to stabilize the surface we're transferring onto. Simply put, we need to take our client's hand and hold the finger from underneath, making sure that they can't move their hand when we're ripping the foil piece off. As a result, we control the surface so the transfer turns out perfectly. You can compare this to a hair removal treatment where you need to hold the skin in place to control the moment of ripping off the strip as it's the key stage of waxing. Also, we need to remember to avoid soiling the inner part of the foil and most often we do it with our own fingertips. If you impress your fingertips onto the foil, you'll surely leave some oil residue and this will prevent the foil from transferring properly. That's why we need to be very careful and hold the foil without touching the inner part, by accident or on purpose. We secure the design with a thin layer of the effect base and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We wipe the sticky layer off with a pad soaked in wipe off cleaner. We use the effect base to secure the transfer foil. Now it won't detach or slide around while we apply the ombre with a sponge. This also gives us certainty that if we were to wipe off the whole design because something went wrong along the way, the foil will be left intact and won't disappear along with the failed ombre attempt. We prepare the ombre sponge. If it's new, we use sharp scissors to cut off the production layer. To remove any impurities, we place the sponge into the X-type tweezers and dab it onto the sticky side of an extension form. We do it gently using quick motions. Slow movements and pressing the sponge hard against the sticky surface can result in a damaged jagged edge. It's time for the Baby Boomer. One of our favorite products to create a Baby Boomer tip is the Nail Art Paste. Using a dotting tool with its larger side, we place a small amount of the paste onto the bottom of the nail. The amount of paste depends on how high we want the color transition to happen. On the bottom part of the nail, we should achieve a 100% coverage with the white shade. Then, above it, the pigment should gradually fade away and the shading should become gentler. We place the sponge flat against the entire surface of the nail. We blend from the center, moving the sponge right and left with energetic yet gentle motions. Putting too much pressure on the sponge will result in scooping the product back up from the nail. We shade across the same level until the product is well blended and the sponge soaked up all of the excess. Then bit by bit, we move the sponge higher and continue blending sideways. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Again, we apply a small amount of paste onto the bottom of the nail. We tip the sponge slightly so that the rim touches the edge of the tip. This time we correct the level of coverage. We blend from the center sideways, spreading the product only along the free edge, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. 
The last layer is about using up the product from the sponge, which means we don't add any extra product. And like before, we blend it from the center sideways until we achieve a perfect tonal transition. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We secure the entire nail with the effect base, but we don't cure it yet as we'll use its sticky layer to apply the princess effect. For this design, we'll use the princess effect in Barbarella. We place the tip of the Acroll sting brush in the sticky layer of the base coat so that the nail powder sticks to the bristles. We use the brush to pick up particles of the effect directly from the jar and place them on the nail. The higher we go on the nail, the fewer particles we should place. Before curing, we double check if all the particles are stuck to the base properly, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We secure the whole design with the super matte top coat covering all the ornaments well, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. There you go, the first of our colorful and sparkly baby boomer designs is complete. How do you like this summer option? We cover the next nail with Ice Dream Gel Polish. We apply one layer of color without pressing the brush down too hard into the surface of the nail, then cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And here, my dear stylists, proper timing is key. If we cure the color for too long, we'll scorch the sticky layer and the foil won't transfer very well. An opposite situation is also best avoided. If the curing time is too short, the sticky layer will be too wet and the foil won't transfer as it will start sliding on the surface. That's why we should meticulously control the time of curing to make sure our foil sticks well to the surface. We cut off a piece of the True Blue transfer foil the width of the nail plate. We press it against the surface firmly and rip it off in one energetic motion. We turn the foil piece around and again transfer it all the way towards the free edge of the nail. We secure the design with a thin layer of the effect base and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. This time we'll use the sugar effect for the baby boomer. How to maintain your sugar effect jar neat and clean? Here's a pro tip from one of our instructors. Don't remove the whole silver foil lid that's on the jar when you buy it new. Simply make a small hole in the center using something like a dotting tool and access the product that way. This way, the jar won't boil over when you least expect it. Using a pad soaked in wipe-off cleaner, we remove the dispersion layer from the base coat. We apply some sugar effect to the bottom part of the nail. We blend it out using quick motions, starting at the center and moving sideways. If the sponge has already soaked up the excess product, we start moving it upwards bit by bit and then back to the bottom of the nail. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. We repeat everything again until we achieve a perfect tonal transition and coverage. We shouldn't forget to use up the product from the sponge on the last layer. We cure the design in the lamp for 30 seconds, then cover the entire nail in the effect base, but we don't cure it. This time we'll use Bling Effect, which is available in five stunning shades. Bling Master, Luxacita, Her Majesty, Yes Bling, and Express Bling. For this design, we'll use the Bling Master. We'll dip the tip of the Acroll sting brush in the uncured layer of the effect base. Then we dip it in the jar with the particles and spread the decoration upwards from the bottom edge of the nail where we should place the biggest amount of particles. The higher we move, the fewer the particles. Before placing the design in the lamp, we check from the side that nothing is sticking out and only then do we cure for 30 seconds. We secure the entire nail with a tip-top top coat. We don't press hard into the nail, working almost in the air to ensure all of the particles are fully submerged. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and that's it. Depending on the product we're working with, there will be more or less layers. The nail art paste will certainly require only two layers, but for the gel polish, it will depend. There are different tricks and hacks to boost the speed of our work that allow us to avoid the standard three to four layers we theoretically should apply. But if you want to learn the different ways of applying an ombre, you should check out our episode entitled Nine Ways to Create a Perfect Ombre. There you'll find everything you need to know. We cover the last nail with the Melancholic Gel Polish. We apply one thick layer, remembering to work gently without creating any streaks in the surface. We cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds. We cut off a nail's width piece of the Alibaba foil. We push it hard against the surface and transfer it a few times across the entire nail. We cover the whole design with a thin layer of the effect base and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then we remove the dispersion layer with a pad soaked in wipe-off cleaner. This time, we'll use Mr. White Gel Polish to create our baby boomer. 
we use the brush from the bottle to place the colour on the bottom of the nail. The shading method remains the same. Using energetic motions, we blend from the centre to the sides until the sponge soaks up any excess product. Remember to create the final layer using only the product trapped in the sponge. Cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. You must remember that when working with gel polishes, you will need more time and the final effect will be a lot more dainty than if you worked with gels. We cover the whole nail with the effect base. On the uncured nail, using the Acryl Sting Brush, we apply the princess effect in Don't Worry Be Elsa onto the surface, filling the smaller spaces with tiny particles of the Yes Bling effect. They have totally different textures, so the final effect will be a lot more 3D. We check if all the particles are stuck properly to the surface of the nail and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. Again, we'll secure the design with the tip top top coat, applying a thicker coat to ensure all of the particles are fully submerged. We cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. To properly secure the effect powders, we need a slightly thicker gel product, a gel or a gel polish. And now I'll tell you why. The wet look is perfect for that. If you've been working with us for quite some time, you'll know it's a bestseller thanks to its beautiful sheen. Many stylists don't want to use anything else, even though it has a dispersion layer. But going back to our styling, we'll be covering it with a pretty thick, glossy product like this wet look gel. This will even out the structure of the surface, smooth it out nicely, and give it a beautiful sheen. Moreover, one layer will be enough so we can avoid flooding the cuticles. Remember, even though this is a gel top coat, it can easily be used on a gel polished surface layered over a protein base because it's super elastic. I can't recommend it enough, especially for powder effect manicures. This is what all of our colorful baby boomer designs look like side by side. What can I say? That's the end of our episode. But do let us know in the comments below if you stocked up on our princess and bling effects yet. Are you already using them? Do you enjoy this kind of decorating fun? On one hand, it can make your workstation quite a bit messy, but on the other, you'll enjoy effects unattainable with any other products. We'll see you next time. Bye.